Alright guys, what's going on? It's Shoddy SP here, and this is something a little different this time, and I have this, I'm not sure what to call it, but I think I'm going to call it like a multiple currency hopper shop door thing, <laughs> but basically what it is, is this shop, in order to get in, you must pay them like say an emerald if they accept that of course and you can just walk right in fairly simple but also if you come back around here you can pay them say like a diamond or something and it'll open of course but also it'll give you it back so Say, like, this could be useful if you wanted to have a lifetime pass for something, like, give someone the privilege to come in here whenever they want and just renew their pass every single time they come in. And you can buy, like, a short-term pass where it's, like, one-time use, come on in, and it doesn't give you a back. And if people want to come in, like, give you their dirt and try and get in yeah that's not gonna work is it uh uh so I'll teach you how to build this thing I'm back and we're going to need a 10 long by 8 wide by 7 deep little box thing it'll all fit within this box but the ground floor would be right here and it also goes underground three blocks from the ground floor which would be right here and three blocks above from the ground floor so what you're first gonna need is a hopper but we're not gonna have it like this we're gonna have it facing inwards so we have to get to come back here kinda have that and do that and after that, we'll bring it out a little bit. Like so. Be able to like that. And this one will be facing in like that. Let's make sure they're all facing that way. Oh. This one not. We're gonna need a little chest right here, and the hopper will go right in there. And that'll be like our junk chest, whatever someone decides to give us, and they'll lose it, and we get all their stuff. So, that's that part. The next part we're gonna need is the part that sucks up the items from this little loop thing and that'll go right down here we're gonna want it to face this block like so like that and we're gonna need a chest right here for all the first input that we don't want to give back it'll go right like that and for the next one for the one that we do want to get back we'll make it go this way so we can get it to go over here and get dispensed later on but we'll do that step later but for here we need to have these comparator here and here put some redstone dust here and there then we're going to bring it down one block Oop, like that and like that and we'll also put some redstone dust on top of there and we'll bring it down once again but instead we'll go inside put a block right there and like so put a block right there a repeater will go right here right there right there and last but not least we put the torches right there and there <clears throat> so now if we fill up these chests with whatever item we want 
say you're gonna want five right here and 18 right in here so four and 18 which is 22 total items in here but you want it to be all across so nothing else will go into this hopper so 22 items right there and that will be the one that goes back to the player and then this one will be the one we keep and the same thing it will be 22 items in total that's 12 well, four, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. We're going to have to put an item in this hopper and an item in this hopper. It's I'm not sure why, but it won't go into the chest immediately. It's probably because the torch locks it too quickly. But it's just a part of the step. It doesn't get in the way or anything. But say we put an emerald in there comes right into this chest like this so so basically it goes down into here the one that was in here goes in here so fairly simple and then we'll move on to the next step so for the next step we're going to need to put pistons right here like so and also some right here like so and we're going to need to invert this signal that comes down here whenever an item comes into the hopper so we'll just put torches there and there then we'll put a block on top of here and a block on top of there we'll make a little or gate oh. this one or that one and they go oh not like that but like that and we'll bring this around we're gonna need it to go right in here we're going to have a repeater right here, so it goes like that. Then repeater there, redstone dust right here, 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 and here. And a little bit right there. If we can just put this one in here as demonstration, you see it pulses and if we put block right here, it'll, it'll open it right up. So next, we're going to have the one that closes the door. I'm just going to have that with a simple pressure plate there. We'll come down here. Right there. Yep. And we'll have... Oh, redstone dust right on top of this block. And have that inverted. And inverted once again. Again, oh, not there, but here, and put a block on top so to activate both pistons when we step on this pressure plate. You can see. So that I'll close the door once you come in, so we will have multiple people coming in at once. So that's that. We have the final step. We're going to need a dropper. To dispense the items, we'll put it right here. Oh, wait, we're gonna need it like that. There we go. And we'll put it there. And what we're gonna need to do is take the items from here and bring them down. And what we can do is just like that and like that and like that but first we'll need to do this break this block right here lead the hoppers right over there we're gonna get the hoppers to go to this dropper right here but we're gonna need a second dropper right here to drop this item up here and this one will drop to the person so we're going to need the hoppers to go to here like so and then it will go into this dropper and enable and for it to drop we need to have this thing right here that detects when an item enters the hopper 
which goes a little something like this, that, 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 and that. So whenever an item goes in here, let's use a diamond, it'll get dispensed right up here. Well, dropped now. And if we can get through here, we'll just do the same thing with this one. Like so. Like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Fairly simple. So whenever an item goes in here now, it gets dispensed out of that one. And if we can just put some guardrails on here, it won't go flying out. We'll dispense through the block up to the player. And that's about it, I believe. Just take a look from the top. Not too bad. It's not a very complicated build, as long as you understand hoppers and whatnot. But, thanks for watching guys, and I hope you enjoyed.